good to be back with you and uh, to to be able to share with you today. I hope it's been a good day for you. Uh, it's election day here in the United States, and uh, anyway, much prayer needed for our nation on days like this, especially. Um, I've been uh, doing the study in, uh, concerning the peace of peace with God and peace of God, and uh, based in Second uh, Thessalonians three sixteen. So I want to continue that today with a little different twist on the on the uh, uh, teaching. So in Second uh, Thessalonians three sixteen. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. What a blessing. A simple sentence as part of the benediction that the Apostle Paul gave to the great church there in Thessalonica. I want to talk <coughs> for just a few minutes here about when do we need this peace spoken of so often in the scriptures. When do we need it? And he says, always. This is a blessing, obviously. The Apostles wanting them to experience God's peace in their lives always, at all times. That means during good times, we would want to experience his peace. That means when everything we feel like, everything is going well, we'd want to experience the peace of God because we have a relationship with God. That we're walking with him, being led by his spirit, that, that the lordship of Jesus is first and foremost in our heart and mind. When things are going good, but well, the tendency is when things go good that we kind of slack off in our relate in our walk with God, or we kind of stagger in our commitment to the Lord because things honestly things are going well and well, and we might not be praying like normally we would be, or we might not be um, concerned about the things of God like we normally would be if. We were going through a struggle. So we need his peace when things are going good, but we also need his peace when things are going bad. They're not going our way. Things aren't, uh, may, maybe we're experiencing some trials or hardship or sickness or difficulty or confusion. Those times we need the peace of God in our heart and mind. And the scripture says that we should bring to the Lord, we should be anxious and uh, or worry, not, not worry about anything, but by prayer and supplication, let our requests be made known to God. That's with thanksgiving, of course. And the peace of God that passes understanding will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus, the great promise of scripture. We can even during bad times, and even, I submit, even during the worst of times, we can, we can know the peace of God because he brings that to us. It's actually separated from our circumstances, but it's the work of the Lord in our hearts and in our minds, the peace of God that passes understanding. So we need the peace of God when things are going good, things are going bad. We need his peace uh, when we know God or we feel close to God, and we need his peace when we do not feel close to God. Or if you're in a situation where you do not know God as Lord and Savior. And so today, if you do not know God as Lord and Savior, the first step for you is to turn to the Lord in simple faith, believing Jesus Christ came to die for your sin, that he was buried and rose again from the dead, you call on his name. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. He will come and he will forgive your sin and be your Lord and Savior. You can experience that in your life. But also, there may be those that are believers, and that we've all been at this place. You've been in that place where you're a believer, but, you know, not so much walking or you don't feel like you're close to God for some reason. You need his peace then, too. Maybe things seem silent from heaven or, th or your struggle is you feel far from God for some reason. Well, turn your heart toward him. I beg you, brothers, by the mercies of God, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable unto God. This is your spiritual act of worship. It's also the way of the peace 
the peace of God in the life of the believer. Present yourself fully to the Lord. Experience that peace in your life. And also, you know, when we, when we feel close to God, we want to also, and, and that's part of feeling close to God, I think, is having his peace in our life. He, he came. He, he said, I, my peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. My friends, shalom to you. God's peace be with you always. Amen.